Hi everyone, my name is Lance Crandall. I'm a senior program manager on the Intune and SCCM teams. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new feature that we're shipping for the 1604 technical preview uh, to support Windows Store for Business in Configuration Manager. Now this will also support hybrid um, as well if you're a hybrid customer and have in integrated your Intune subscription into SCCM. Um, the features that we're shipping for 1604 for Windows Store for Business are the ability to onboard your Windows Store for Business account into SECM, as well as the ability, ability to sync down any applications you purchased uh, into Configuration Manager so that you can see the licenses that you purchased for each of those applications. So we'll be adding new features over time, of course, to give you the ability to uh, create and deploy applications as well. But for uh, the 1604 technical preview, those are the two pieces that we're shipping. So to be able to onboard your Windows Store for Business account into Configuration Manager, the first thing that you need to do is go to Azure Active Directory and select your directory and create an application. And here I'm just going to click Add and add an application my organization is developing. I'm going to give it a name and select Web Application and or Web API and select Next. And here, when you put the URL in, you can put in whatever URL you want. It doesn't have to uh, actually resolve to anything. But for consistency sake, I am going to use the same URL for both and base it off of my tenant name. I'll click complete. And once it creates this application, I'll go to configure. And there'll be a couple pieces of information that we're going to need from this to actually onboard into SCCM. The first one is client ID, and the next one is our client secret key. So to create the client secret key, all I need to do is select a duration for the expiration. I'll pick a year. And then I need to save uh, the changes that I've made so that it will actually show me the client secret key. So you want to be really careful with this ID, of course. Um, and make sure that you are following proper security standards when you uh, share or store this. All right, so I'm going to leave this page open for now, uh, just so I don't lose this information. And I'm going to jump over to the Windows Store for Business portal now. Now, I successfully logged in here already, of course. And uh, what I need to do now is add a management tool. So I'm going to click Settings and Management Tools and add a management tool. From here, I'm just going to select the name of the application that I just created in um, Azure Active Directory. So you can see I have SCCM WSFB. I'll click Add. And here I need to activate this. Now, in Windows Store for Business, you can only have one management tool to manage these applications. So if you're using Intune standalone, you'd follow a similar process to what I just did and be able to add that here. Um, or for uh, SCCM or hybrid customers, you would follow this process. Um, to add this. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is make sure that we've enabled offline licensing support. Now, this is something that you don't have to do. It just depends on what you want to do for your organization. If you want to be able to deploy and manage offline content, that's great. So you'll just select this checkbox here. So I already have mine selected in my tenant. That's fine. Um, you might have to select it in yours. At this point, we're good to go. So all we need to do now is go select applications that we want to, to purchase. In this case, I'll just pick Power BI, for example. And you'll see here, since I've selected offline, I have both online licensed apps as well as offline. And again, offline, I'm going to download the content into Configuration Manager. And uh, in future tech previews, I'll be able to deploy that. Uh, it contains the license file in the package that you download for online. It gets its content directly from the store and uh, checks license information from there as well. So I can just say, get the application and uh, make my purchase there. Now that's all we need to do at this point as far as setting up Active Dire Azure Active Directory as well as the Windows Store for Business. But to configure it in Configuration Manager, there's a couple of steps we'll need to do. So I'm going to jump back over to the application I created and grab the client ID. In Configuration Manager, we have a new node underneath Administration and Cloud Services called Windows Store for Business. So I'm going to select Add Windows Store for Business Account. And here you'll get some information about prerequisites you need to do. We've already just walked you through what those prerequisites are, but this will help you if it was your first time through. Click Next. We'll specify what our tenant is. And we'll paste our client ID. We will jump back and get our 
client secret key that we created and paste that here. We'll click the verify button and we can see that it's successfully verified. Additionally, since I purchased some offline applications, we're going to also specify the Windows Store for Business or the uh, path in SCCM that we want to download that offline content and store it to. So I'm going to just specify this. Specify our packages directory here. So all offline content will be uh, downloaded and saved there. Verify everything's OK on our summary screen. And we've successfully onboarded. Now at this point, what happens is that underneath the covers, we are kicking off a sync with Windows Store for Business where it's going to sync down the information that uh, we've purchased from the Windows Store for Business. And I'll show you where you can view that information in just a minute. It usually takes about five or 10 minutes for the sync to occur. And after that, we'll be able to view the license information uh, for all those store applications that we purchased. To view the applications that have been synced down from Windows Store for Business that you purchased, just go to Software Library, Application Management, and the new license information for store apps node. And here you'll be able to see all of those applications. So you can see the different license types, whether it was offline or online, uh, the store version, et cetera, and the last time it synced. So uh, again, we're gonna add more features in the future. They've given you more ability to manage Windows Store for Business applications. But let, uh, take a look at the 1604 technical preview and, and the features that are here and let us know what you think. Thanks.